Hello crafters, it's Jen from My Great Crafts. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create these really awesome happy birthday little containers. Um, I have directions on here. I tell you how to package this up. I tell you how to make it step by step, where to buy all of your items from. I also have some congrats grads. Graduation is coming up really soon, so this would be really cool. You just throw a money amount in here and you can give this to a graduate, you can give it to a birthday person, and you can make all sorts of them. They are so cool, so fun to create, and it costs under, under 50 cents to create this whole thing. Stay tuned for step-by-step -step instructions, and I will share with you everything that I used in this video. Alright guys, I'm so excited for this video tutorial. I hope you love this video tutorial. Give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribers of mine. You want to stay tuned because you are going to be making money on these. So I'm starting in Design Space and I have a few different designs here that I purchased. I will leave the link down below where I purchased them from. And all you gotta do is upload them. So I'm gonna grab these really quick, add to Canvas. I'm not gonna use every single one of these, but they are kind of cool. Um, I have triplets actually and their birthday is coming up pretty soon so it'd be kind of neat to give them something like this. Uh, so I'm just going to grab a couple of these here. Congratulations, different birthday ones. Um, congratulations, blah blah blah. My daughter is actually graduating high school in a couple of weeks. I figure I make her some of those. So with that being said, I just grabbed whatever I wanted to use. It's going to be a big jumbo mumbo mess here, and I will show you really quick how to fix it. I'm going to shrink my screen a little bit first of all, just to kind of show you what it looks like. And then I'm going to grab everything, move it to one side, shrink it a little bit. Now I can bring my screen back up, and we can work from this. So one of these, um, if I can find it, this one here, whoops, didn't mean to make it bigger. This one here. Uh, I'm going to leave just the way it is. I might resize it a little bit later. You just print this page off the way it is, and basically it's just directions how you put this on. I will leave everything I use in the description down below, but please ask any questions if you have any. Um, I'm just going to go through here, and basically the only thing that you have to do, because you save these as a print then cut, all you have to do is change the size to what you want. Again, I'm sorry there's so many of them. I just wanted to show you really quick um, what they would look like. So I'm actually going to get rid of these just because we don't need so many. I just wanted to see, show you the options of all of them that they had. So for me, I've been using actually 4 by 5 and that's been working really well. So I'm going to grab the first one here. Whoops, grab the first one. Oh my goodness, my computer doesn't want to work. Let's try it again. There we go. Grab the first one, unlock it, and then change it to be 4 by 5 and then you want to go in and change every one of these to the same size. Your size might be different than mine, but for the stuff that I purchased to use these for, this works perfectly for me. So I'm just going to go in here and keep doing the same thing, just changing them all to be 4 by 5 and then I will show you the next step. By the way, are you guys uh, happy with my video tutorials, the subscribers that I have already? I would love to hear from you guys. Let me know if I'm doing a good job, what videos you guys would like to see. I'm always up for options and doing different things. I am back to stay. I've been gone for a little while, not doing too many videos, just really busy with life and my kids. So I'm really happy to get back to this. So leave me some comments down below what you would like to see me create. I'm trying, I'm actually going to be doing a, uh, my first craft show um, on, let's see, in a couple of days, which I don't know if I'll have this published in time, but I will let you guys know. I will do a YouTube short and kind of show you my setup and what I'm doing and what I'm selling. And I will be honest with you and let you know what I sold, how much I sold it for, I'm an open book. Ask me anything. I have a craft ebook if you're interested in that. I sell that on Etsy. Um, it's been going really great. I do need to do an update on it pretty soon. Um, just with some more information that I've learned over the past few months. But I would love for you guys to check that out too. I'll leave the link in the description down below. Enough yapping. Okay, guys. All right. So I'm going to grab this one and I'm actually going to make it as big as I can. So what I'm saying big as I can. So if I make it this big, I don't know if you saw it, but a little red dot came here and says, hey, that's too big. You can't print that. So I'm just going to actually take it. 
or you can go over here and just push a little button. You can see you can't print any larger than eight and a half by 14 um, or 7.44 by 9.47. So you just want to make sure that that you're not going over that. So basically I just kind of go like this and kind of wing it, I guess, and make it as large as I can. So this is going to print off into one whole page and it's going to cut it out for you as well. It's just, a, again, description of um, directions on how to use these. Really neat. I am so looking forward to selling these uh, at my craft fair. I will let you know how it goes. That's it, guys. It's all you had to do. Change it to be four by five and then change this to be a little bit bigger. Um, with this file here, the one that I purchased, you cannot ungroup this and you cannot contour it, which I kind of don't like because what if I wanted to make a whole bunch of the purple ones or a whole bunch of the blue ones? So unfortunately, you can't. I mean, you could go in and get a shape, let's say a square, and take out every single one of these. That would be a big pain. So I wouldn't even worry about it. Who's going to really look at that? It's just directions on how to use it. So that is it. I'm going to go to make it. <clears throat> and I'm just using my regular printer, my ink printer. And I'm going to print these out. As you see here, each one is printing two per sheet. Just like that. Except for the first one where I said it was going to print all at once like this. So I'm going to go ahead and click continue. And... Make sure my machine is on. I'm going to send it to my printer. So it depends what kind of printer you have. I will leave it in the description down below what I use. I have an Epson EcoTank and I have to say I absolutely love it. I've gotten thousands and thousands of prints off of that machine without changing the ink. And I'm looking at the ink right now that I have and it's a bottle. You don't, and I just had to buy a new one because my husband prints flyers every week for our movie theater that we own. And we just had to change the ink and I think for five colors um, that last thousands and thousands of pages, prints I should say, it was under $30. Absolutely crazy. So if you're looking for a new printer, I actually just purchased my second one. It's an Epson EcoTank and I will leave it in the description down below. So again, sorry about the yap and just like to give you guys great information. So I need to change my printer. Sometimes you know you might have more than one printer. So I'm actually using, nope, wrong one. This Epson. Um, I have the 8500 and then I have this one as my uh, subbing uh, printer. So I'm going to click on this one. I got rid of bleed. I do not like having the bleed on there. If we read it here, it just said bleeds extends ink slightly beyond border. I don't, don't want that. So I always turn the uh, add bleed off. I'm going to go ahead and print this and I'm going to show you what it looks like. You see it has little register lines on the side. Your Cricut needs to read that. So you need to make sure that your um, page is printing this off in order for it to do the next um, parts. So I'm going to get my camera set up. I'm going to print these off and I'm going to talk to you about that next. So stay tuned. I am so sorry. I skipped ahead and I forgot to tell you guys about this next part. So once you push uh, make it, it comes to this and you want to set your base material. So for the printer or the cart, the, oh my goodness, for the paper I'm using is cardstock. So I'm going to be using this cardstock for intricate cuts and it works really well for me. My paper is 90 pounds for the cardstock. So I'm going to go ahead and click that one and I'm going to print it out through my printer. And then it, after it's done printing, it's going to say, um, you know, put your cardstock on. I always use a blue mat. And some people have said to me, I didn't realize that the colors were different kinds of mats. Yes, your blue mat is for like paper, light stick. Your green mat is your standard. And I believe the purple is the... Uh, stickiest one that you can get. So I'm using a blue mat and I'm using a 90 pound cardstock. So this is what works for me is this cardstock for intricate cuts. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what this looks like. I just want to jump, jump back in here really quick and tell you um, that's the next part you're going to want to do. All right, so here I have it on my blue mat. This is what it looks like. What I was talking about is the register marks that are here. Your Cricut is going to do some funny sounds and stuff, um, but don't be alarmed when you're printing and cutting something, it will do that. So I'm going to put it in here, push the flashing button. I'm going to kind of show you what it looks like when it's going. It's going to light up and it's going to make some weird sounds and then it's going to cut it out. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do it and show you what it looks like, uh, just in case you're new to print, then cut. I, when I first did it, I was like, what is this doing? I've never seen it before. 
act like this, so just in case you're new, like I said, it lights up. It's just checking for those register marks right there. This is what it's doing, going back and forth. That's why those register marks are very important when you're doing print, then cut. Um... You could also do this if you didn't even have a Cricut machine. You could do this on, uh, let's say, Canva and print it out and then cut it by hand. But, you know, if you have a Cricut, you might as well take advantage of it. So this is what they look like. I'm going to let it finish it up. Um, I have a few that I'm going to be cutting. Unfortunately, you can only print two to a page. But I'm going to show you really quick what you want to put on there. So I have these. Probably won't show up very well, but I have these things. And basically, you just tuck your money in there um, and then put it on there. So I'll show you that in the next step. But I just wanted to show you what the Cricut was going to do. It's just thinking about it. And it's going to take a little bit longer because it does two cuts on this. Um, but it's the perfect way. Uh, it cuts it out absolutely perfect. So I'm just going to show you a couple of seconds more. And then I'll show you how easy they are to pull off. Like I said, you want to make sure you use your blue mat. You do not want this to be too sticky. But you also want to make sure your mat is clean. And it's cutting the little circles out at the top there, which I'll show you when it's all done. It's going to do one pass, and then it's going to go around one more time. Like I said, I'm using the cardstock one um, for it intricate cuts, and this works perfect for me. So this is all. It's done already. Uh, it does take a little bit longer because it's doing this like two cuts, but I'm just going to show you how easy this comes off. So if I push this button again, I'll show you. So all I got to do, let's get in focus here, is pull this off. And the other two are left on there. And you can save this paper if you want to for other projects. I just kind of put it on the side. But then there is a little hole on the top that I was talking about. And then you put that little plastic part that I showed you over this. So I'm going to finish cutting these ones out. And then I'll show you what they look like um, and how I package right, them. So I have all my supplies here. I'm going to tell you what each thing is. And I will leave everything in the description below. But here are the papers that I cut out. These are the directions that you're going to want to put in there. And then here is um, the paper. So here's an example. There's um, the piece on here ready. I'm going to show you kind of what it looks like. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like when you package it. So I use cellophane bags. And I put it in the front. And then I put the directions in the back. And then I put the um, little, I think it's called lipstick holder, in the back. And then it comes with little sticky things too. So you have this side with sticky side. So I cut this up. In half like this so they get four pieces and then they can do it themselves or you can do it for them and just kind of throw it in there but I'm going to show you how I do this and what it looks like so this is what it looks like when it's done obviously you put money in here but I just want to show you what it looks like so it looks like that I have five by seven cellophane self-sealing bags like this I just find the front throw this in here and then here's the part where it depends what you want to do so I take one direction so I put it in the back so they know what to do and here's where it comes in if you want to do it for them or if you want them to do it. I mean, the directions do say gently peel off adhesive. So basically what you want to do is this is what it looks like. They come in like, I think it was like a pack of 100. And basically this is what it looks like. It's just it would hold like lipstick or your money for this time. Or you can put even chapstick in if you change the look of it. Um, but basically you just want to take the double, this is double-sided sticky tape. So you don't really have to be... Um, that careful because you're not going to see the white part. It's double-sided sticky tape. So you want to do your best getting it on here. Especially if you're going to leave it on here and then let them peel it off. You want to make the presentation look nice. So here's the two end parts and then you want to just take the two longer pieces and lay them on there as well. And then you'll make sure you uh, stick it down really well, just like you would like if you're putting vinyl on a mat. You want to make sure it's down on there really nice. Whoops, that was not nice. Easy part about it is you can peel it back off. So you want to put it on here. It's coming off the edge. You want to put it on here. You know, when I was doing this by myself, I was doing a lot better than being on camera. It's a lot harder than you would expect. So I'm just taking it and pushing it down really well. This part you can leave. Like I said, you can either do this for them or you can just leave it in the bag. I was just leaving it in the bag like this so it's here so that they can do it themselves. 
Um, but you can do it this way either way. And then, it's, like I said, double-sided sticky tape. So you're just going to take this white backing off. I don't know if it'll show up on camera, but this part is sticky now. So all they have to do is peel that off, and then they can stick it on there themselves. But like I said, I was actually leaving it all together. And then what you want to do is just take this and put it in the front for kind of like an example to show them what it would look like. So just like that. And like I said, this is self-sealing, so all you got to do is peel this. All you got to do is peel that and then make it look nice and neat and even. And that's how it's done, just like that. And I plan on selling these for five bucks a piece. We'll see. Like I said, I have a craft show this weekend. I'm going to tell you guys how I did in the community section. So if you're interested in learning about my craft fair and what I sold and pictures and all that kind of stuff, make sure you check me out in the community section on my um, YouTube page because there I'm going to show you everything. And if you have any questions, I'm a totally open book. If you want to know what I sold something for, if you want to know what I paid for it, I'm an open book. I will tell you whatever you want to know. So make sure you check that out. I do have an ebook for sale as well on Etsy. I will leave that link down below in case you're interested. All the funds go right back to this channel so that I can do more videos for you guys. If you guys do like this video tutorial, please do give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribers already. This just helps my channel grow. And I'm just going to show you some other ones that I did previously. This one says, I drink on two occasions, when it's my birthday and when it's not. And then I have this. Oh, that's the same one. And then, oh yeah, so my daughter's going to be graduating. It is almost graduation time. So I printed these out too. Congrats, grads. So again, I just put the top on the front. And then I put this sticky part on the back. So again, if you like this video tutorial, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. And if you're not subscribed already, if you would consider subscribing and also hitting that yellow bell icon as it will make you show, it'll show up all my videos. I know a lot of people have been saying, I haven't seen you for a while. Well, I'm here. I'm just, you're not getting notifications. So make sure you turn that notification on. Again, happy crafting. I hope you like this video tutorial and I will see you in the next one.